Next thing we're going to do is mount the battery to the frame. Welcome to Velo Mobile Shop. My name is Kyle Chidock and I own an e-bike store. I like to make electric bikes better. And you have a couple of options as far as how to do this. If you're going to use a large triangular shaped battery, then the simplest thing to do is use a large triangular shaped battery bag. Uh, so this one, for example, has a zipper on one side. It actually has a bunch of Velcro straps inside. So once you put the battery in, you can put all those straps around it, make sure it's nice and secure. And then this has heavy duty straps for the top, for the seat tube, and for the bottom as well. So really sturdy. That'll keep it in there nice. Uh, one advantage to this is you have lots of room to shove any extra wires in. So if you have some extra cable lengths going to your brakes or different things from the controller, you can kind of tuck them in here and keep them hidden. Uh, the other thing you could do is if you're using a slightly smaller battery, is hide your motor controller in there as well. I think it's a little bit better to have them separate, just that way you're not having a, both the battery and controller heat near each other. Uh, if it's set up properly, that's not really too much of a concern, but it's something to think about on higher powered bicycles. I don't think I need to teach you how to put the Velcro bag on, so we're gonna set that aside. What I am gonna show you is how to mount the battery to the frame. So it's going to sit right about like this. Uh, we're actually going to situate a little bit forward like that. Basically the battery sits on a cradle, which is this piece here. And the cradle needs to be bolted to the frame. Now they do include the holes here. Usually they're slotted so that way you have some adjustment. One problem you're going to run into in a lot of frames is that the holes for the cradle may be here. But since these holes were intended for a water bottle, they're down here. So holes are right here. We need the holes to be right here. Now, since I've used this frame quite a bit, uh, I've made a little aluminum template. So all I need to do is stick this on here, take out a Sharpie and just put the dot there, dot there. I know where to drill my holes and I'm going to show you how to put in a couple of nut certs. Now I can include the dimensions of this particular template if you end up using the same exact frame and battery as I'm doing in the build here to make that easier for you. Uh, but for everybody else, basically what you want to do is first have the battery on the cradle. And the reason you want to do that is because typically the way the battery is angled at the back if you slide the cradle all the way down, the battery can't mount. Now if you put it too far forward, this battery needs to slide forward and up, then you can't get the battery off. So we want to make sure it's positioned just right. So what I would do is put it so it's resting against the seat tube here, and just so it's not rubbing against it all the time, just scoot it forward a hair, leave yourself plenty of room at the top, and then what I would do is take that same Sharpie that I had right here and I would put a mark either at the top and the bottom or both places so you know where the cradle should be sitting. So we have our two holes marked here and here for the cradle now. Now we're going to go ahead and drill a small pilot hole first. So I like to use a nice small drill bit like these little DeWalt drills. And we go to drill the hole and we run into a problem. The drill won't fit in the frame. So what do you do now? Well, if you have a small air drill, sometimes they have a, a small enough right angle that they'll tuck right in there. Um, what I like to do, this is a really handy tool. Uh, there are right angle drills you can buy. They're not always the cheapest option. Uh, but if you have a regular drill, then you can get one of these. So it's a little DeWalt right angle adapter. So you can put this into any standard drill. You can put your drill bit 
into the adapter, and then now we can drill a hole right in this triangular portion of the frame where otherwise it's a bit tight to get into. Now, because the frame is a tube, if you drill this hole off center slightly, your bolt that's going to go in later is going to want to be off to one side. So do your best to make sure those holes are nice and straight. And instead of drilling from down here and looking at it from the side, what I like to do is actually get above the bike, get a view looking straight down. That way I can see if my holes are straight. And as silly as it looks, I'll actually put my head right on the frame and basically one eye is looking on one side of the frame one eye on the other and then start drilling the holes you could also use a small center punch on these to make sure you've got a little divot there and you're getting started the pilot holes are drilled we're switching over to a larger drill bit now this bit is just large enough for these nut certs to insert into the frame basically what we're going to do is add this piece it basically pulls itself together like a rivet and that will give us two more strong mounting points with good threads on them so the nut cert just threads on here like this. Once we've got our hole drilled, we'll insert it, crimp this down nice and tight, and then we're gonna have nice new mounting spots for our battery. So first things first, let's drill the holes a little bit bigger and get them ready for that nut cert. Now that the hole is big enough for one of these nut certs to fit, we'll go ahead and put this in here and crimp it down. Now that our nut certs are in place, we can go ahead and put the cradle on. There are two little rubber bumpers that go on the frame. You'll want to make sure to use those. Assuming, of course, your cradle has them. Most of them do have something like this. Uh, a couple of tips while you're doing this. One is uh, if you have the battery connector like this, uh, make sure it's disconnected. Now you might wonder why does that matter if the battery's over there, I have nothing plugged in here, what's it matter if I plug it into the controller? Uh, the controllers, especially if they've been plugged into a battery, usually have a capacitor and they can have a little bit of a charge and I've seen a couple of things happen. This is all from experience trying to save you the trouble of my mistakes. Uh, this particular cradle has this metal piece that likes to slide around it likes to hit these prongs right here where the battery go. Uh, I've also dropped one of these bolts. And if you're dropping one right here, they tend to land right on these connectors. Um, now I touched those, but I don't have anything plugged in here, of course. Uh, and it's very easy to short across those connectors with uh, random bolts or different things or tools. So uh, be mindful of that. It's best if you just make sure this is unplugged and then you won't run into that problem at all. So we've got our little rubber bumpers in there. We'll put our bolts in. And I've also seen another problem with some cradles where is if the head of the bolt is too fat, the battery will not go on. So if you have any trouble after you bolt this on getting the battery on, check to see if you have 
and a head that's too fat and perhaps the battery can't slide on because of it. So what you can do is go ahead and tighten these to where they're just snug. And once you've got both of them down snug, what you should do is take the battery, put it on, make sure everything clears, and that way you can slide it up or down a little bit if you need to. Okay, so we've got those on there, just snug, and take our battery, put it on. And it looks like we are just right. So we got lucky and it's in the perfect spot. We've got a tiny bit of a gap here, so it's not gonna rub on the frame. And looks like the battery will lock on. And always make sure that it locks on. So grab your keys, stick them in there, make sure the battery locks to the cradle and everything looks good. Thanks again for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is just one video in a whole series on how to build your own electric bike. So please make sure to subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you can see when the latest videos have come out. If you happen to show up in the middle of the series and you want to get back to the beginning, I'll put a link to the first one or other episodes in the description. And the previous video will be over here. And the next video I'll make sure to put over here.